Kevin's 2009 Highlander with the Rotax 912 power Kiev prop, the big wheels, 29 inches, dual Matco lightweight brakes, and uh, the shock system from where? Tony Shock Monster. Tony's Shock Monster, brand new shock system just added to it. TK1 shocks. And some of the other refinements he's got on here. Of course, the windows open, and that's stock, but uh, leading edge cuff just added. Flap gap seals, recently added. A very lightweight build overall. What do you think this one weighed in at? Uh, I think the seven? Whole, whole thing's about 730 pounds. 730. Um, the big removable sheet, seat cushions, loads of baggage area back there. The red thing is the uh, fuel boost pump, electric boost pump, which is on all the time. Um, stock flight controls, flap handle, brakes, trim, tow brakes, heater, the works a very well squared away high performance highlander oh and you got the big bore kit in this it's the big bore so it's Rotex. 115 horse 115 horsepower it's in it's in immaculate shape there's less than 540 hours on the entire airframe engine prop mm. this this might be the way to get into the stole business <laughs> It's a hell of a performing aircraft. Land and take off here at 6,000 feet on a daily basis under 100 feet. 100 foot landing and take off roll. And the neat thing about this, which actually outperforms my Super Cub, you can cruise around at 100 mile an hour. Uh-huh, right. And now the Highlanders developed the Super Stole, but this aircraft, you say, is, is still a gliding type aircraft. It doesn't have the leading edge slats Super like the Stole Super Stole. Super Stole has the big leading edge slats. A completely different aircraft. It's got the big outboard suspension system. It comes, that up, comes to here. up to here. Yeah, yeah. And it falls out of the air like a box of rocks. Uh -huh. It's a hell of a Stole aircraft. I one day would like to have a, a stretch, that new stretch Super Stole yeah. with that UL engine in yeah. it. But, uh, you know, this Highlander, and according to a number of folks that fly these guys, I don't want to fly my throw my good buddy Steve Henry under the bus. <laughs> there's a reason why he has multiple Highlanders. Uh -huh. He doesn't have the Super Stole, and he's the Wild West dealer for, for just our He's job. So he's hung on to his Highlanders. Yeah, he's got yeah. a couple of them. Uh -huh. Very cool. Oh, and extra fuel on this one, too. We got four fuel tanks for damn near 40 yeah, gallons got, of fuel. You got 13 and 13 with an additional five on each side, giving you 46 total. Wow. At about four gallons an hour, four to five on that Rotex. Yeah. Brilliant. But yeah, they're pretty when you, stiff. When you land, because it doesn't look like there's much compression on these right now doing this. Yeah. But I have them set just right to where they just they absorb. Uh huh. Dan Defoe at, at, at Super, Super Cubs North is making one for the Highlander, the tail. But you don't land on the tail very often. With ever. these, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, you don't. Uh, outside temperature, okay. your bolts. Endurance rate. All four and six. 532 total time hours right there. Okay, there it is. Yep. That's what I was looking for. Uh-huh. Yeah, your EGT, CHT, and everything's on there. Yep. That's your RPM. All pressure, all temp. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of fuel. And then the shutdown is just real simple. That's it. Ain't no mixture because it's automatic it. yep. um, en enrichment, I guess. Temperature compensation through the Bing carburetors. They're gonna figure how that works on a 912. And that's what you want: the big tires, wheels, and brakes and shocks. 